Today we are playing the newest version of Mario Kart Wii Deluxe, a custom track distribution created by FJ Roya. It features every track from Super Nintendo all the way through Wii U and Mario Kart Tour, but also has so many amazing brand new custom tracks. It takes features of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and puts them in Mario Kart Wii, and it rebalances all of the vehicles. We played it last year and this is the newest version, so you guys are in for an absolute treat with this one. This is one of the most polished Mario Kart Wii mods I've ever played. I mean, look how great the interface looks. We even have the vehicle stats updated to show all of the changes from the base game. Some of these stats are completely off the wall. Like the drift stat on the jet setter is completely absent. Same with the off-road stat on the spear. Everything is just drastic. I think I'm going to try Ooh, I think I'm gonna try the shooting star and just see how different it feels. We're gonna do manual and look at all of these cup icons. 800 tracks is obscene. There's no way we will be able to play all of them, but we're gonna do our best to showcase a lot of them today. Let's start with Toadette's Castle. I'm just gonna pick random ones and just do like a show, whoa. Just do a showcase of tracks I've never heard of and we are on 200cc plus very hard CPU mode, which should make things tough. I wanna, oh, it's inside drift, let's go. Okay, so this thing has an insane, an absolutely busted, unbelievable main turbo stat. And then the top speed is nothing great. I think it's like 89 or something like that. And yeah, oh, oh we go 107 when we're in main turbo. I am loving the interface around the Item roulette, that looks really good. And this track is incredible so far. The item boxes look extremely polished. I'm gonna have pretty much nothing but good things to say about this mod. I remember playing this last year and being extremely impressed. Although I was having a little bit of trouble uh, with the game crashing, that was really the only issue. But I believe those issues have been sorted out. And now it's just gonna be a really enjoyable 800 tracks <laughs> to slowly get through them over the years. I mean, we're not just making one video on this mod. I want to test out all the different vehicles. And with very hard CPU mode, plus some wonky vehicles to learn, we're going to have a work out for us in the future. By the way, I see Shades of Bowser's Castle and Peach Gardens. It's a good mix. We go 107 in a main turbo. We could just chain main turbos over and over and over with this combo. It is not difficult at all to get a blue main. Oh, oh! Oh, I just went through the side. Oh my gosh, we already found a glitch. Wait, what is this respawn? Oh, that's a great respawn. I don't even know what I just did. I literally... It says I'm in second now. I'm in third, I'm in fourth, I'm in fifth, I'm in sixth. Should I just fall off again? I'm in eighth. Did I just... Did I just find a glitch on the very first track? I'm falling off on purpose to see if it fixes my respawn, but I, I actually think it just respawned me ahead and now I'm not gonna get my lap count. I literally have to go backwards to get my lap count. I don't know. We're gonna continue on like everything's fine and probably regret it, let's find out. I cannot believe that was happening. And we have Thundercloud and it looks like the boo because it is a mega Thundercloud and it's called Mario Kart Wii Deluxe for a reason. So I'm gonna have any sort of eight deluxe reference possible, which includes things like putting items in even if they don't function like the Mario Kart, Mario Kart Wii, DS, eight deluxe counterparts, like, <laughs> it'd be cool if we had the ghost, like, actually function like it does in those other games, but it's probably very difficult to get that switched around. I, yeah, I did not get the lab count. Can I, like, replicate this? Like, what? That is so insane. I'm gonna reset. I just can't believe I found a glitch on the very first level on accident. What are the odds? Wario's Climate Cataclysm. Oh, this is beautiful. I am already enthralled, but a little nervous that we're gonna get glitched again. It's so cool how they put the names of the creators on the bottom left corner. I feel like every custom track distribution should do that. That's 
so helpful. Just having the name show up right when the race starts. I'm, I'm surprised other distributions don't do that. I think in the future we'll, we'll see every distribution eventually add that. Because uh, now that one of them has it, usually you know you, you see one distribution get something and then all of a sudden five or six other custom track distributions add it in the next year or so. Oh, so close. I found a shortcut. I don't know if that was smart to even go for it, but I am very impressed with the zip zip in this mod. I don't know where to go. I'm lost. This is going to happen a lot on these new custom tracks. But I am so impressed with the zip zip because it drifts really tight. It's got inside drift. It feels nice. I'm not sure how fast it goes. I believe the flame runner goes like 98 or 99 or something like this. This thing drifts insanely tight. I'm used to the zip zip having terrible drift. Yeah, it's like overwhelmingly tight, and we have brake drifting on top of that, so I gotta be careful not drift too tight. I gotta like, not do severe drifts at all. Okay, this is really cool. Shortcut right here, shortcut right here. One minute, 11 second first lap. Let's just back up for a second and take this all in. So there is another route, and it looks like it's gonna lead into a cannon, but it's a little bit of a trick and oh all items can land is enabled on this mod and when you hit a mega mushroom it actually zooms out your camera which is super helpful considering how much oh, the mega mushroom takes up but on top of that it gives you like a probably like a 10% speed bonus it's around there which is extremely helpful all right the track is a little confusing but it is so beautiful that is going to be one of the main takeaways. Okay, I have to go this way. See, that part's very confusing. Like, I even the CPU hit the wall there. <laughs> this track is called Toadstool Dynasty. Not only is it telling the creators of the track, but it also shows the name of the track right when you start, which is incredible. Oh, look at, look at the Goombas. I love how they dress up the enemies on custom tracks, give them a little extra flair. Sometimes they change the model entirely and make it match like a, like, uh, you know, on Riverside Park, they have the piranhas that tiptoe around, which are not even in Mario Kart Wii. Like, little touches like that really add to the levels. I am seeing so much taken on this track. Wow, this this track has an insane mini-map. You guys think Heart of China or Ninja Hideaway are crazy? Uh, this is really testing me right now. This is... This is like a labyrinth, trying to figure out where to go. Okay, we see some cherry blossom trees. We're, we're on the right path until we just fell out by pixels, almost landed. Oh, this is probably a shortcut. Oh, that's definitely a shortcut. You have a mushroom, maybe even a main turbo, that would be possible. Great respawn, too. This is a really cool track. Difficult, though. And, I mean... So far, even though the first track had a glitch, like all three of these tracks we played are visually imp more impressive than most custom tracks I've played. Oh, oh, okay. Look at that, look how amazing this looks. I'm, I'm seriously impressed. And you know, we're playing on the emulator, so the graphics are even more pristine. That does make a huge difference. Some tracks are really nice on emulator super easy to visually take in while when you play them on console it's a totally different story because it just kind of muddies everything bowser's palace imagine if nintendo just did away with bowser's castles and the next mario kart game had a track right before rainbow road called bowser's palace i think the whole community would be distraught oh through the top okay and i gotta remember we do have fast falling Okay, so I'm looking at the mini-map, and this one actually seems a lot easier than the ones we've been going through. Let's see, right turn. I, I really don't look at the mini-map much. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa, you can't go up this. This is a, this is troll. Okay, okay, you gotta follow the red, the red road here. <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay, we're gonna go this way. This one's tough, but. It doesn't look tough on the mini-map, it's end up, end up being harder than the other ones. Ardian 6 might get last at this rate. I think that every custom track distribution needs a hard CPU mode. I think that always makes things a little more interesting. Oh, we're off the edge, yeah. Like, the hard CPU mode really puts the pressure on and 
makes playing offline actually a little bit challenging while sometimes you know these mods they don't have any way to play online if nobody's playing currently or there's just a room of two or three people it's not really the experience you're looking for you have to like get together a group of friends or join like a streamers room or something like that except for CTGP that always has rooms going pretty much online which is good but yeah it's great like even though no one was playing at this current moment I was able just to be like oh I'll just throw on hard CPU mode and try out the new tracks in that in that way it's more fun for me than doing time trials as well I don't have any pattern for how I'm picking the tracks I'm literally just picking the tracks that have the coolest names and that is gonna be my strategy for the entire video <laughs> this one looks great already extremely impressed with the visuals I can just tell immediately based on what the main road looks like, the edging between the main road and the off road, the out of bounds, and the colors and objects around the out of bounds. Like, I just take all that in and I can just immediately get a feeling for how much effort was put into a track. And this one definitely takes all of the boxes. We're traversing through all different types of terrain and scenery right now, and it's very smooth. Something that I will never take for granted on custom tracks is just how smooth they've gone. A lot of times, it used to be, back in the day, completely flat sections followed by ramps, so it would just go from no elevation to 30 degree elevation, back to regular flat elevation, and, and it was very jagged, and the vehicles would bounce a lot. Nowadays, everything is smooth, and you stick to the ground. Sticky Road is implemented everywhere. The custom track creators really have got it down, and it's all across the board. You almost never see tracks that have that sort of jank feel that the old ones did. Now, now everything is so smooth and this is easily one of the best ones we played today. Top two, top three. Oh, that might be a shortcut over there. There might be a shortcut on the right. I would need a mushroom to test it out though, so we're just gonna keep going. Okay, the shortcut I was talking about is like over here. I'm not, I'm not gonna go for that. That actually doesn't look possible. It, it might be, it might be, especially on like 400cc or something, but I'm, I'm not gonna go for it. Well, I got first place by a couple pixels. It's not gonna show finishing times, unfortunately, because we are in VS mode. This uh, mod does not have a Grand Prix mode. I think it's because it was freezing. So we're gonna be playing everything on VS mode today. Fast flowing waterworks. Seems like an extremely wide track based on the mini map. Almost aqua drum stage reminiscent here. Whoa, cool, okay. Oh, look at this enemy on the left. Amazing, okay. I like this one so far. I like how when I fell off, I didn't fall off. That was a really nice surprise. I was ready to be off the edge very first second, like I have I had multiple times. Speaking of off the edge, there we go. Back to our old place. <laughs> Look at this, it's like a whirlpool. Oh my gosh, what a cool texture. It's one of these things, I don't know how it looks on console, but it looks amazing on emulator. And we're going to the right. Can we go in the water? Yes, we can. Beautiful. This is so cool. I, uh, sniped the Goomba. I wish I could do more shortcuts for you guys, but it's going to be more about just figuring out where to go on this video. And then, oh, in the future, we're going to be trying different vehicles and seeing how big of wind streaks we can get going against these very hard CPUs on blind tracks using the most extreme vehicles of the mod. I definitely want to make a video showing other vehicles. It's funny how we started on the Shooting Star and then we switched to the Zip Zip after the freeze, or the, the glitch happened, and then we've just been the Zip Zip the entire time now. Oh, oh, this water current actually has some pull. This is really affecting me, unlike the other ones. It's a great pull if I can hold this. Please don't hit me. Oh, give it back! Oh, baby Luigi's gonna win. All right, that was just one lap. We still have one more to go. Good egg drive. Okay, so we're having some Mario Galaxy references. Can't go wrong. It's a two lap track. Looks like an insanely long track, just based on first impressions. The minimap always has a really cool glow to it. It's not like a gray color. It's more like a light blue, and it looks nice. Loving that. It almost feels like we're moving on this, kind of like I did on the water stream last track. Feels, we're just going so fast. I think it's really just the 200cc feeling that's consuming me right now. This 
Oh no! Oh, I almost did a shortcut right there. There's definitely a shortcut. I'm an 11, just like that. Okay, the CPUs are cracked on this track. Confirmed. I think what happens with any sort of CPU mod is the CPUs are very good on the simpler tracks. Whenever there's a lot of ramps and a lot of different, like, twisty corners, they take wide lines or they don't trick or they just find ways to go slow. But on tracks that are flat and wide and gradual corners, like, the CPUs just take off. It's good games. Experiencing a little bit of lag, but overall, it's not unbearable. It's not bad. Still going strong here. Okay. And there's definitely a shortcut on the left right there. You can probably cut that whole corner. We're just going to break so we don't deal with the blue shell. And blue shell's still chasing first. That took forever for it to catch. That is lap one of Good Egg Drive. It's a pretty track. It's a wide track. Simple. This track is called Fettuccine Fatality, so uh, we had to choose it. I'm a little nervous. And I think the name is accurate. It's really living up to the name so far. I see... I, I see a lot of Fettuccine in weird spots. And I have not fallen off yet. I don't know what's falling into the ground. It's like a, a dark substance flowing into the fettuccine bowl. Can we look up? I want to look up and see what I'm driving on. I'm, I'm very curious about this fettuccine track. Like, what is going on right now? Okay, so this one's actually really short. We're so used to playing extremely long tracks, and then here we are playing a five lap track. I don't remember the last time I played a five lap track that was a, wasn't a retro. Like, all the short tracks are always retros. Whoa! Oh my gosh, oh, I have not been this excited for a custom track in a while. We have Dry Bones Drilling Company. First of all, it has Dry Bones in the name. Second of all, it has the the letters, the acronym CO for company. And one of the best custom tracks ever is Shy Guy Lumber Company. So if it's anything like that one, we are in for a real treat. Shortcut! Shortcut again! Oh, okay, well, one shortcut down, the other one didn't work, which is probably a good thing. That would have been busted. All right, this, this looks incredible so far. The drills are menacing giant and they actually like they 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 spin like it looks great we got some green oozing toxic waste on the side we have giant dry bone skulls similar to bone dry dunes in mario kart 8 deluxe <laughs> i'm really <laughs> trying my best to to commentate and play it's very hard like these tracks, I'm just trying to figure them out for the first time and then I'm also trying to like <laughs> string sentences together and it is easier said than done. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this video because this has been tough, but I, I seriously am like extremely impressed with the mod. We can do this. Oh yeah, you can definitely make a shortcut out of that. There's probably a huge shortcut right there, especially if you have a mushroom. You just go off right here. And then go off here. Oh yeah, okay, so you could you could definitely do what I was trying to do last lap. You just have to cut less. Oh, this is so cool. So cool. Alright, we're in second now. Let's focus. Gotta be very careful right here. Oh, those are bats. Nice. This is a top three, top four track of the day, I'd say. And I'm not biased about the fact that it has dry bones in it. And it's dry bones themed. That is not the reason. It's because it looks awesome. And, uh, well, okay, maybe it's slightly the reason. This track's called Umbreon's Final Roller Coaster. We're still sticking to the theme of picking all the tracks that interest me the most. And if you guys want to know something about me and one of my favorite hobbies growing up, it was riding roller coasters. Growing up in California, I always had so many theme parks to choose from, and I just rode every roller coaster I could. And I've been on over 200 different roller coasters in my life. So anytime I would travel, I would try to go to the theme parks that were like near the areas I was traveling to. So. I just wanted to always experience as many different types of roller coasters as I can. So, uh, gonna add this one to the list. We got Umbreon's roller coaster here. <laughs> but seriously, if you guys enjoy roller coasters, then go to Ohio. Ohio has Cedar Point, and that was my favorite roller coaster park I've ever been to. So, definitely recommend roller coasters. If you're scared of heights, just keep riding them and they get less scary. And that's some life advice while you're watching a Mario Kart Wii custom track video. Because seriously, roller coasters are amazing. And 
And this track is no different. This is really cool. My only thing with this track is it's kind of dark. And when everything is dark, it just makes me have to really concentrate in a way that makes it a little, a little difficult for me. Piranha Tropica. All right. Might be the simplest track so far, besides Fettuccine Disaster or whatever that was called. I mean, I think it was called Fettuccine Fatality, actually. So yeah, no, th this one is like an old school track so far. That's a very tight corner, but at least the curvature of it works out nice. Very dark track once again, almost didn't know where to go for a second. But hey, I mean, it's a Prana themed track. You gotta have some sort of sewer-esque like part to it. I mean, you know, that's how the Mario Bros games goes. It's always like level two is always you go underground into the sewers. So uh, it's on theme, can't deny that. You cut the super inside because of the shape of it. Love that. I like how it's only three laps too. It almost feels like I'm playing like a, oh, I, I thought that was gonna be off I didn't realize the edge was right there. Kind of feels like I'm playing like a remake of an old custom track, I don't know why. Maybe because it's got such a simple layout and even visually it's, it's nothing too complex, but it looks clean and polished. And, and I like it overall. I'm, I'm actually really happy with this one. There's a pretty busted shortcut here at the end considering my offer stat. <laughs> Vacation cruise and we're on, we're, we're on Daisy Cruiser, I think. But it's stormy, it's raining just like before. We're just running into all the rain tracks now. We go up here, okay, okay. Nintendo take notes, that's a legit shortcut. I love that one. This is funny. This is, this is so funny. Okay. Oh, this is actually kind of scary now. Where do I go? This way? This way? <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought we had to go underwater. I was excited. I was like, oh my gosh. This is like the Titanic. Okay. We're, we're good. We're good. We're not affected by the offer. It looks like there actually is no offer there. And this is the end of the lap. It's just three laps. It looks like such a simple and short track, yeah, it's still 40 second laps. Well, I guess it shouldn't be 40 seconds if you drive it decently. Bullet Bill Bluff. Three people made this track. Mickey Man added again. Mickey Man's made a lot of them here, and I've loved the tracks that he's made so far, so I expect this one to be also phenomenal. It's just been, like, a significant improvement from when we last played Mario Kart Wii Deluxe. Like, I feel like I've only played one track I recognize so far, and I feel like most of these tracks eclipse the ones that I played prior last year, both online and against the difficult CPUs. Is this a big shortcut? No, I wanna try to do like a shortcut here. Getting a little carried away. This always happens the longer we get into these offline videos. That's definitely a shortcut. If I didn't hit that, just that teeny bit of out of bounds, I think we were home free. I wanna try this one more time. Never mind. <laughs> There's a fall boundary. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay, okay. We are about 30 seconds behind right now. Let's hope we get some bullet bills or something. This bullet bill, or uh, maybe it's a bonsai bill, looks incredible. There we go. There we go. And we should be able to catch up. This track looks great. As per usual, gold mushroom on the ground. The corners on this track are absurd though. We played a roller coaster track earlier, the Umbreon track, but I feel like this is more roller coaster esque with how twisty and curvy and banked these corners are. Good thing it's sticky road. Might as well just use this. Okay, this is just an insane, insane corner. Like, I mean, what is going on? This part's really cool. I'd expect like more bullet bills though, or bonsai bills. That's one of the coolest parts of the level. But I, I just expect a little more difficulty, honestly. Like, for a track that's themed after bullet bills, the bullet bills are not the difficult part of the track. Ironically, it's actually just these absurdly shaped corners. Like, look at that one. That is probably the most difficult corner. There's two corners on this level that feel abnormally strange and wild.
Uh, okay. Painted Swamp Raceway, I'm a little nervous. We're just gonna break here at the beginning. The minimap does not look scary. Some of these tracks, I just see the minimap at the beginning and I'm already like preparing myself, like what I'm gonna be getting myself into. This one, it's more the visuals on the side that are freaking me out. There's a lot of tubes. Maybe this is reminiscent of the unused Mario Kart 8 Deluxe track, the one a Prana Plant Pipeway or whatever. It, there's a lot of pipes. I, I see a lot of color pipes. Uh, we're in a psychedelic atmosphere here. The colors are trippy. There's ghosts that are flying in and out of the tubes. And I'm trying to evade this red shell to no avail. Lap one in the books. Stroben's Desert Illusion. All right, for those of you who don't know, Stroben's Desert, shortcut, shortcut? No, oh, I thought that would be a shortcut. Okay, we're going around. This is one of the oldest custom tracks ever. I remember playing Stroben's Desert when I was in high school and this looks crazy. I'm gonna try to do a shortcut. Not even close. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Alright, I have to continue driving, but I am just taking it all in. This is such a majestic track. I mean, look at it. I don't... Oh, we have Tumbling Shy Guys! This is... Mario Kart DS download play coming at you quick. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, Shy Guy was the only playable character on Mario Kart DS download play. I don't even want to race the track because I'm so freaked out and I'm so taken aback by this. This this is what you guys have been waiting for. Tumbling Shy Guys? That, I've never seen that. How have I never seen that on track? That is so clever. This is incredible. Would I want to play this track? In CTGP, probably not, but as a Kaizo track, I can't think of many better than this. I'm gonna use this. This is so stunning. And it's it's a great name for a track. Stroban's Desert was one of the most ridiculous desert tracks ever made. Ever. I mean, it's not even close. It was a ridiculous track for its time. And then you have the illusion element of another old custom track, I forget the name of it, but it's like combining two custom tracks together and just getting this, this is almost indecipherable. It's, 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 it's like a dream world. N nothing really makes sense or adds up, but you just kind of take it for what it is. Okay, I wasn't even sure if that was off-road or out of bounds. And I'm tempted to hit the tornado, but I'm gonna keep going forward. I'm in the last by a lot here. And see, this very beginning here is exactly how Stroben's Desert looked. And then you enter the the portal of the, the multiverse of madness. <laughs> and, and then uh, you're on your merry way here. We are not gonna top that one. Would I wanna play that track all the time? Absolutely not. But that was the most entertaining track of the day. And I'm so glad that was the last track. Like, what a way to end things. And it looks like the reward, the award ceremony is the exact same. Nothing too crazy here. Overall, Mario Kart Wii Deluxe, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Be sure to check it out. The newest version, 800 plus tracks, infinite content. It's gonna be on this channel again very soon. Thank you for watching and peace.